with irregular eggs intervals, interpolating a mid value is not actually significant. Learn the reason why here in Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. With a data set of irregular x interval, the method of Newton's divided difference interpolation requires a table, and eventually using a pattern equation. In cases when the divided difference table is confusing, one can still use Lagrange interpolation. Let's complete Newton's divided difference table first. The first column starts with 1.8987 minus 1 divided by 0 0.5 minus 0. Next is 3.7183 minus 1.8987 all over 1 minus 0 0.5. Then 11.3891 minus 3.7183 all upon 2 minus 1 which results to 7.6708. For the next column, the top coefficient is computed from 3.6392 minus 1.7974 over 1 minus 0. This is followed by 7.6708 minus 3.6392 all over 2 minus 0 0.5. The last column has 2.6877 minus 1.8418 divided by 2 minus 0. We are to interpolate f of 0 0.75. Using Newton's divided difference interpolation, the leading coefficients are 0 for x0, 1 for f of x0, 1.7974 for the first y difference then 1.8418, and then 0 0.4229. With the equation for Newton's divided difference interpolation, the solution of f of 0 0.75 starts with 1, followed by the next term 0 0.75 minus 0 times 1.7974. The following term contains 0 0.75 minus 0 times 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5 times 1.8418. And the last term has 0 0.75 minus 0 times 0 0.75 less 0 0.5 multiplied again by 0 0.75 minus 1 and then multiplied by 0 0.4229. All these terms are simplified into 1 plus 1.34805 plus 0 0.3453 minus 0 0.0198, which is again reduced into 2.67355 for f of 0 0.75. Using Lagrange interpolation, start by covering the first data point and fill up the ratio of the first term, of f of 0 0.75. The numerator contains 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5 times 0 0.75 minus 1 by 0 0.75 minus 2. The denominator has 0 minus 0 0.5 times 0 minus 1 by 0 minus 2. The y difference multiplied for this term is 1. The second term is identified by covering the second data point. The ratio has a numerator with 0 0.75 minus 0 times 0 0.75 minus 1 and 0 0.75 minus 2. 
the denominator consists of 0 0.5 minus 0 times 0 0.5 minus 1 times 0 0.5 minus 2. Then the y difference with this term is 1.8987. Cover the third data point and get the terms numerator as 0 0.75 minus 0 times 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5 with 0 0.75 minus 2. The denominator has 1 minus 0 times 1 minus 0 0.5 and 1 minus 2. The y difference included in this term is 3.7183. With the last data point covered, the fourth term comes with the numerator as 0 0.75 minus 0 times 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5 times 0 0.75 minus 1. Its denominator has 2 minus 0, 2 minus 0 0.5, and 2 minus 1, with the difference of y as 11.3891. Simplifying the first term, we get negative 0 0.07813, followed by the next as 1.1867, then 1.74296, and the last term is negative 0 0.17795. Add all of these values to get f of 0 0.75 as 2.67. There is a minor discrepancy of the function of 0 0.75 from the two methods, but it is from the fifth decimal place.